Hello. Welcome to the Greenman's 2016 Get Together New Member Roundtable. So these are folks who have never attended a Get Together before, and it's their first time. So we're going to get a little uh, information from each of them and find out what they're all about. So let's kind of go around the table, if we could. If you can give me your name, <coughs> how long you've been with Grievance, and what game do you play? Okay. I'm Nazareth. I've been with Grievance for a little bit over two years, and I play Elder Scrolls Online. Good. Um, I'm Araxian. I've been with Grievance for a little over two years, and I play World of Warcraft. Oh, uh, my name is Soulquake. I play Prophets in the WoW Alliance, and I've been in Grievance for just over two years. Uh, I'm Dud Mud. I've actually only been in Grievance for two months, so I'm pretty new. Wow, you're wow. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, what was last? What game you're playing? Oh, BDO, yeah. The BDO, cool. yes. Awesome. 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 I'm Zoe. Ooh. I've been in Grievance for two years. Um, I game hop, so <laughs> Star Wars um, is my main game right now. The Dare Republic. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay, Star Wars Silver Republic is my main game, but I play like Final Fantasy and WoW also, so. Excellent. Hi, Boone. I played WoW Alliance, although my heart belongs to the board. Uh, what? Dirt, dirt, I <laughs> <laughs> That's why his tune's called Damn It Kirby. Yeah. Because <laughs> he made me play. Uh, I I uh, I've been in I've been in Grievance for about a year. Uh, during my time, most of it has been spent on well, but <laughs> but, uh, uh, <laughs> but I, I also spent time in uh, uh, Soul Forge when it was out yeah. with the, with Grievance. Excellent. Thank you. Grimmy. Hi, I'm Grimmy, and I've been with Grievance, I think, two and a half years. And I play for Wild Alliance, and I also play Overwatch right now. Excellent. Raven. Hi, I am Raven. I, I like to play Vanquish. World of Warships. World of Warships. <laughs> nice. Great. I'm Chirp, and um, I've been with Grievance about a year. <laughs> and I play ESO. Excellent. Coach Mike, I've been with uh, Grievance about two years and I also play ESO. Nice. Okay. So we're going to go around the table again. We'll kind of just follow this format. What brought you to Grievance? Um, I'd actually taken a break from Rift from a previous guild. And when I came back, that guild had moved servers and I was currently guildless. So I just started shopping around and looking very closely at guilds and I wanted to find a place that I felt I could be at for a while, and uh, after all the research I'd done, I decided on Grievance. And, um, and uh, the Rift Rift was thankfully yeah. there to take me in and uh, uh, show me how how much of a home it actually is. Awesome. So. That's great to hear. Mm -hmm. um, two years ago, I was playing WoW on the Alliance side, and Kata did his little announcement over the... Uh, trade chat and I talked to him and he got me into grievance. Uh, well, Sky and I have been playing MMOs since MMOs were a thing and uh, finding a guild is sometimes very hard to do. Uh, we did a lot of research and tried to find a guild that was family first. <laughs> um, basically would work around our schedule and we found Grievance. And well, that's probably for a Rex. That was it. Yeah, I mean, as soon as we found Grievance, Rex has less than 3, 000, 3 million gold right now, so he <laughs> thinks he's poor. <laughs> the fact that Grievance played every game that was out there let us choose which game we wanted to play um, and what time frame we could play it in, and that, that was really it. That made a huge difference to us, and once we joined and found out all these great people, 
<laughs> well, I uh, joined because my dad, uh, Airhead, was in for about a year or so now. He, he joined in Neverwinter, and before this new BDO game came out, it was relatively new. Um, well, he told me some, uh, told me about the guild and stuff, so it looked cool. I looked into it. And ever since then, it just, it's just been awesome. Everyone here. Is he cool. here? Uh, no, yes. he's over there. Yeah, I saw you. Oh, so he is here. That's awesome. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Mm. That's very cool. Well, um, I had a long journey to Gravens. I've been, I was in SOTOR and several guilds, and then I went to Final Fantasy. Didn't find any really good guilds, and I found a forum post about Gravens. Uh, I think it was posted by Vajrana. We really miss you, Vajrana. I just want to say, if you're watching this, um, hopefully you couldn't get make it next year. Um, I had to say, and then like I said, I saw the forum post on uh, MMO website. I can't remember which one, but, uh, and so I server transferred over and I started talking to people in the guild um, uh, on the forums. And I was like, okay, come sign up. So I did, and then, and Rajana was probably one of the first pe persons to welcome me and stuff like that, add me to the guild. Ah, uh, there she is. Aww. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, and along with Twist and all of them, and like, and I've been, I made switch games and stuff like that. But, uh, um, but I, I'm still happy that I'm part of Guild. And Vajana, I will be back in July. I can't wait to play with you again. Hi Boone, I'm here because of her. <laughs> we both started playing WoW about the same time, eight and a half years ago, and became really good friends during that time. Yeah. So when she came in to uh, Grievance, she started pestering me to join. <laughs> so eventually cool. I caved in when our old guild pretty much died. Awesome. So I don't have to say anything, right? <laughs> 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 You're not getting off that easy. Yeah, so I've dragged Boone to a couple of different guilds, and then when... <laughs> He's like, yeah. And a couple of different games. Yeah, and a couple of different games. Um, but yeah, when our old guild, Ride the Lightning, pretty much died. She's like, what did he say? Yeah. Um, <laughs> when uh, our old guild died, I was really frustrated because the server just was not the way I wanted it to be. It was really low population. Actually, that happened to two different guilds on two different yeah, servers. Yeah, it was the second time The servers time just it died to me. and then the guilds died. So I was super frustrated because it was the second time that the server died, the guild died, and I'm like, you know, screw it, I need to have a fresh start because I played Horde forever. And it's like, I'm going to start wise, and I'm going to go to the most crowded server ever, and that's Proudmoore. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to start completely over. And so I was on Proudmoore, and I kind of like jumped in a couple, you know, those spam invites, you know, join my guild, and I kept trying that. I'm like, this isn't working for me. So I started searching on the Proudmoore forums, and it was Sky's post. And I really loved just the way that she talked about family honor and loyalty, and I wanted to give that a try. They didn't have any rating spots, but I was like, whatever, I just want to get in give these people a try and I loved it. And then there was this crazy dude, like I'm really anti-social at first, and so I didn't get on TeamSpeak and I wouldn't rank, but because th they said they didn't need spots. But then there's this crazy guy, Kata, who's <laughs> <laughs> grimy. Like, ah, and I'm like, what, grimy? And that just really threw me off because I hate that. And then he was like, grimy, get on TeamSpeak. Grimy this, grimy that. And I'm like, no, but he wasn't. <laughs> That won me over. Be mad. I didn't even want to raid, and they're like, nope, you're gonna raid. <laughs> she said, I am not. Oh, That's my friend you're talking about, man. Right now, like I just can't. But um, just so it all here. <laughs> hey, show how to horror fight. We can get you. Be careful. So he got me finally to start raiding, yeah, and then yeah. being in team speak was the big thing of meeting everybody. You know that way, just how much. Even more so, there's a family and just camaraderie in the guild. And I've never, I mean, I've had that a little bit in pieces, but I think it's just even more close to Hungry Guys. So that's what I, I was hooked to that. Yeah. yeah, before, I, I don't like to play, and like he said, um, Doxy encouraged me that why not try it? And he said that um, you're going to meet a lot of people there, and it's kind of fun. So I did try it, and he said, I'm going to put you on. Uh, like Ravens 
Yeah, and I, I, I did try it, and it's cool. Awesome. So Glad you did. did. All right, well, I play ESO. It's the first MMO I've ever played. <laughs> and in ESO, you can have five guilds. So I was in this other guild that was smaller and struggling to... We wanted to run trials and raids, but we didn't have enough people. We didn't get um, we couldn't get a group together. So one of the guildies in that group, you guys know him as Rumor or Moogle Hat. He invited me to join Grievance with him because Grievance was running raids, mm -hmm. and so I came to Grievance because of raids. And now I'm here, <laughs> <laughs> and we are glad. <laughs> Well, me, like everybody else, had their share of bad guild experiences. Everyone's had them, so I did a lot of research when I started playing ESO. Uh, again, the five guild thing, and I wanted to find, I wanted to find a guild that treated the game like a game, not a job. <laughs> I had too many of those. I got to the point where I just didn't want to play games anymore. Yes. So I found Grievance, and I put in my application and talked to Talor uh, in person online. And I just wanted a few pieces of information and she said, oh, you're not going anywhere, so you're <laughs> <laughs> So I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so Talor has uh, fish hooks. Yes, I, I <laughs> love the job. idea that it's multiple games, multiple platforms. Wow. So, I mean, in my eyes, the search is done. I don't ever right. have to. I want to change games. I don't have to go find one of the world guilds. Yeah, it's and that's here. important. So. And that's something that a lot of the new members don't realize. I found is that you can game hop across grievance, and you don't have to leave. I mean, mm -hmm. you're still within our family. You're still going to enjoy yeah. that same infrastructure. And that's what I did. Like yeah, two or three months exactly. after I joined. A lot of people think, I'd "Oh my gosh, this is my game. I can't. I can't visit this channel or yeah. game." And that's not the case. Really we encourage game. you to well, meet well, other people and go across the organization. So and that's a great leave, point. When you leave one game to another you know, traditional guild, you end up losing touch with all those people that you played with. Exactly. And in Grievance, exactly. you can go to another game and still jump down a channel and say, Hey, how you doing? What's up? Exactly. Exactly. You know? exactly. And it's, that's totally different than most of what most people Or basically do. go listen to Kai when she's dying in Overwatch. It's no. hilarious. <laughs> 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 if you really should... What am I having? I know that's what I love so recently, like playing Overwatch, I know it's going to be some great, amazing members, and it's just the same expectation and roles all across the board. It's just amazing. And everybody's so welcoming. Like, I can go to ESO, and people are like, hey, hello. I'm just, I know, it's really it's, welcoming. It's really cool. And you, you don't feel guilty for trying a new game. No. If a new game comes out, you can jump down there. You're not abandoning your game that you're playing or, or whichever one you're affiliated with. Just to play a game with people. Mm -hmm. Just don't tell Tor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she will hunt you down. <laughs> and everybody will help you too. That's yeah, the other that's thing that, too, yes. since we have that honor system, I guess honor system here, that everybody's willing to help each other learn new games. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you go into another channel, just ask them about the game. Oh, you're part of our guild. You gotta get there now. <laughs> yeah. uh, like Skye's like, I just want to know the different. information about. Uh, I want to know more about WoW. Oh, uh, welcome to the guild. Yeah, welcome to the guild. <laughs> You're in, you'll find oh, out. Don't worry about it. Don't look at the screen right now. <laughs> don't look at it, Scott. Don't look at it. Oh, <laughs> don't look at the thing. Is, the thing is about Sky. I said, can you send me a friend request uh, where I can try to get? How do you do that? <laughs> yeah. And then uh, her husband had to explain to her yeah. how to do it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but we figured it out. We hey, one another you, out, right? Yeah, but you get your stuff, yeah. and you, as soon as you get in their car, you get your map. Don't worry, you'll get your map. <laughs> and there you go. D-U-T-Y-S. All right. Oh, my God. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not, that's not even the half of what it just posted. Not. Yeah. He's our squirrel right now. Yeah. You just, right. so, okay, this is, your, this is your guys' first time here at a get-together, so I'm really interested in hearing what your impressions of it are. Kind of overwhelming. Um, everybody's warm, welcoming. And it's just been amazing. It's the only way to describe it. And it'll just come next year. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I'll be here. I'd have to say being able to put faces with names so I know who I'm talking about, or talking to, rather. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's amazing, right? Now I'll be like, that if I see him. <laughs> yeah, and th- this is one of the big things with grievance is being able to play different games with people and walking up to someone and say, oh, uh, Jack Ray's here. I play Overwatch with Jack Ray. I play uh, Shiv. I play Diablo with Shiv. I play Overwatch with Shiv. Um, just all these people you run into. All the people you run into and... and <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, right here. So, so <laughs> being able to, to walk around the house um, oh yeah, he can't. And realize like that you played something with almost everybody in this organization. It's just incredible, incredible. Very cool. Yeah, it's uh, it's huge. It's amazing coming to a place and just seeing so many different people playing so many different games. And this, this house is amazing. I mean, and I hear it's just like getting bigger and bigger every year. It is. It's just. It's amazing it's how much fun. it's grown since yeah. I've come. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, um, just being here to actually get to meet all these people I got to talk to on TeamSpeak and stuff like that. Or even to get to talk to Jack Ray about um, stuff we're doing. Get him in here. Get him, get him. I'm not a part of it. Get him, get him. Like I said, get him to talk to Jack Ray about some projects we were working on face to face. And ideas and stuff like that. Um, um, and, and, um, but sadly, and sadly, we are missing Kyosha. I know you're out there in chat. We really, really, really miss you. Um, definitely next year. You better be here. Um, uh, someone's going to have to, uh, who knows. Uh, <laughs> I know a few people say they're going to come steal you or something like that. Uh, but I have to say, <laughs> I did. Uh, but uh, but I have to say it's fun as we get to meet people that I've been chatting with, and especially you, Scott, because you're, you're like I said, I learned so much from everyone, and especially still, I've seen them a couple of times, like at convention mm-hmm. uh, at one tricon, and then a few minutes when he was uh, down in Bowling Green, and but as we get to spend time with them and stuff like that. Fine. Very cool. Thank you. Yes, they're going silly, Kyosha. There you go. <laughs> That's right. oh, okay. uh, coming to the gatherings, not that big a deal to me because I go to science fiction conventions all the time. Yes! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> getting to meet one of my best friends for the last eight and a half years for the first time, that was awesome. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, you know, putting names in there. Yeah, so. Awesome. There's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Um, I. You know, I have a lot of anxiety, so for me to go do this is kind of like a big leap for me, especially to be here with like a bunch of strangers. So like, I should say strangers. Why well, is the a stranger? Uh. Stranger. You have to qualify as a stranger? Of course. Like, I feel like I'm half a stranger. Yeah. But like, it's just so cool because like, you know, like you said, eight and a half years of gaming all across yeah. many different guilds get to meet you and then like people I've been raiding with for two years. Like that's so cool that I finally get to see you and then like play card games or trivia. Like that's so cool. And then, um, you know, like something that was really funny, I was talking to Jack Ray. He's like, oh yeah, you killed me. <laughs> was like, you killed me too. Like, and it's just like those funny conversations that you would never have like at work or the conversations that you would never have other places, like you can just totally be yourself and feel comfortable. And for somebody like me, that's just awesome. So I love it. Yeah. Awesome. Grimmy kept us alive when Kata accidentally pulled the mobs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that never happens. Yeah. yeah. Kata pulling the mobs. Mr. What does this button do? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Egg for the win. <laughs> oh, right, 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 Mr. Right, right, right. I did that turn. Yeah. What I'm going to say. <laughs> Yeah, it's really cool that um, you're going to meet the people that you're playing with and I hope next year Plessy just going to meet it. Yeah. Awesome. Is his name is Plessy Jeff? Yeah. Yeah, that's... Um, 
Yeah, I want to meet him. Okay. Very cool. Thank you. Sure. I live in a place where there's just like a lot of IT workers and not no like <laughs> government workers and like just oh. people that are not my people. Yeah. And. Uh, so I found online gaming just a year ago, and it's felt like, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> it's felt like I found a community of people who are like me, you know? And, um, yeah, so, and, and, and I'm one of those people who like goes out of my way to meet guildies who I play with. I've traveled to different people's houses, and like I stay over people's houses just just because I want it, you know. So this get together makes it easy uh, because everybody's already here, and you know I sit in Teamspeak, and different people from other games come in a channel, and they're talking to other like the officers they know, whatever, and, and it's like ah, oh, you know, I kind of want that. So so coming to the get together gets it's nice meeting people from the other games. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. She actually said something to you. Coach? Um, really <laughs> impressive. It is very <laughs> yeah. but The size and scope is impressive. This is my first, obviously, my first grievance one. But this is my fifth MMO real life get together. Oh. I've hosted oh. three of them. Nice. And I've had people come Thank from you. all over the world you know, to uh, get together. And, stuff. Yeah. and we were talking about it actually downstairs. Is, you get to know people that you game with. I know people that I've gamed with for two or three years better than people or I've worked with for 30 years. <laughs> you, you can get on TeamSpeak with somebody and actually you have a bad day. <laughs> you have a bad day, you can get on TeamSpeak and vent someone like this. You know, and, and people will make you laugh. and. You know, it's, it becomes more like a family. Yeah, absolutely. It's a whole lot different than actually people you, you right. actually physically <laughs> see. And it's great to come to these, put faces with the voices. Yeah. And of course, that's a game all in its own. Yes, yeah. it can be, right? Okay, so one last question for everybody. This is, I'm going to kind of turn the tables a little bit. Um, at the leadership meeting, one of the things that we asked was, how do we get members more engaged in TeamSpeak? How do we get people to use the forums? So I'm going to turn it around and ask you guys, <laughs> how can we get you guys to use the forums and use TeamSpeak more? What's missing or what would help you get engaged or what ideas do you have? So. I don't think there's much we can do to get people Be quiet on, <laughs> on TeamSpeak <laughs> more in our deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's constantly telling people to yeah. share team speak. Okay. <laughs> what we what we do is we do guild events that actually require you to either be in team speak mm -hmm. or to actually go to the forums. Um, um, Static's done a couple things. Where <laughs> <laughs> Static's done a few things where you actually have to go to the forums and answer questions. Yeah. Uh, to win in-game items or, or gold or something. Oh, that's a, that's a good answer, Daxus. Drive them with cookies. That was probably work. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Ned. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. okay. Wild Alliance hey, for the win. At least, at least they're engaged. Yeah, they're engaged. <laughs> they're answering your questions. Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> I like the cookies one. That's, that's good. One. We don't need to say anything else. We're just going to watch the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was going to be such an entertaining question. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I think that answered everything. Okay. <laughs> uh, as far as TeamSpeak, TeamSpeak is awesome. It's uh, how to get people on it. Um, um, okay. But um, it's, if you get on it, you'll enjoy it. That's all I can say. Now, the forums, I'm bad about that. I do not get on the forums. Anymore, but if you make it a habit, like maybe when you do your dailies or something, just get on it. It helps. Um, for people who are already in the guild, in grievance organization, um, you, you just want to 
we emphasize that we have a lot of people playing other games, it's not just your game. Uh, you might have forums about good books to read, good movies to go watch, uh, drink recipes, food recipes, anything like that. Um, you want to encourage the people to go on there and post ideas about where you've been. It's not just, you know, if you have a problem, go to the forums. Uh, for new people, I think you want to get them prepared. I think they talked about that earlier. That if you go in team speak, you're not going to just jump in and see one channel uh, because we have like 70, 80 channels. I don't know how many. There's a lot of yeah. It might be overwhelming to people, so hard to find. Yeah. So yeah, you got to kind of guide the new people to where your channel might be. Uh, I think that's probably important. Is just get the newer folks prepared, and for people who have been in grievance for a while, make sure that they're remembering that we play everything. Um, we talk about everything. There's comedy, there's just tragedy. So yeah, there's, yeah. It, it's just amazing. So please go to the forums, please go to Team Speak. Amateur yeah, stand up hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Karaoke. We got it. Yeah. Karaoke. Yeah. Way too much karaoke. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Lots yeah. Lots of singing wildlife. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, BDO has a lot of people playing it. There's a, there's a lot of people on that channel. No, because Lord Scythe more channel and sing too. <laughs> yeah, Lord Scythe sort of makes it where it's sort of like a big deal to be on Teamspeak. You'll miss out on a lot of things if you're not in it. The game is more PvP oriented than a lot of other games uh, grievances play. So to really do well in that kind of thing, it has to be organized and. So all the in-game content, you really you really have to be on TeamSpeak. So he really brings a lot of people into that. And uh, so particularly for my game, I guess just getting all the in-game content, rating and all that stuff, sort of like doing it at specific times or even random times, if you can get people on TeamSpeak uh, so they don't miss that. And they miss that, and then they're like, oh, wait, so if I was on TeamSpeak, I wouldn't have missed that right. important content. And it, it brings people on, so there's Excellent. quite a lot of people. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Uh, for one thing, Vanquish should do a better job touching me. Somebody just <laughs> joking, Vanquish, just joking. I have a little fun with you. <laughs> That's an awesome job. Um, I have to say, is. People need to understand to be a part of grievance is it's a family and how can you be part of the family without being in team speak and talking to us. Yes. Yeah. And because there are days I get in team speak and I'm having a bad day. There's officers who, that I know, they'll pull me to their channel and just talk with me and they'll talk about real life stuff with you. And just of course, they want to keep politics and rules and stuff like that out, but still, they're there for you. And they're, they're there for you, they're your friends. They are your brothers and sisters. And still, it's our crazy dad. It's <laughs> our <laughs> crazy dad. <laughs> hey, who agrees with that? Yeah, crazy uncle. Crazy uncle, I think. Yeah, cra yeah more crazy uncle. We have an entire family of crazy people. Well, yes, yeah, yeah. But there's a lot of crazy people. I'm one of those crazy people. He also is the cookie monster of the crazy people. Um, uh, we're responding to chat. Okay, uh, but uh, yeah. Yeah, very good. Uh, but it's just basically the forums. I had to agree. Sometimes, if I didn't have Tap -a Top on my phone, I couldn't find anything sometimes. I have to subscribe to where I know these new posts are coming out. And that's an easy way for y'all to find stuff on, on the forums. Subscribe to Tap -a Top, and you can get it instantly when, you, when they post to it, stuff like that. <laughs> and the shiny order, yes, the shiny order. Uh, but like I said, and also you can find, they're there to help you, the officers are there to help you crack, get stuff that you need for different levels of the game, stuff like that. Uh, but they don't know unless you tell them in TeamSpeak or even on the forum. So you can ask, hey, can someone help me? And that's what they're there for, and they can set up something special for you. I know Shiv does that all the time with the Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, if you post there, he'll try to set it up if he needs something. 
and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. It's a great place to ask for help or even just to chit chat about stuff, and especially Sierra's uh, cooking yeah, recipes. Yeah, cooking recipes. Very important. Yes. <laughs> well, we just finished talking about you, Kata. <laughs> and Kata, you missed it. We know you're nuts. <laughs> so, there we go. Um, I, I, I can tell that the first day I played Wild Lines um, when we came in channel. Yeah. Uh, Trojan tr is the dog. You don't find it. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Zoe. But, uh, what's the question? Two feet four Oh, uh, Two feet four uh, I don't know. It's your friend. I've been drinking. Don't put pressure on me. I'm just here to be entertaining. <laughs> Okay, we'll go to Amanda. <laughs> Obviously, I need to work better at this. Um, <laughs> well, that's one I have Kata, you have him. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty even. Um, I mean, it's like recently I've been trying to promote Tap -a Talk because Tap -a Talk's really easy, and I know you already mentioned this, but it's really easy to access the forums in a clean way. So when I have, I'm the recruiting officer, but anyways, when I'm recruiting somebody new, I try to say, hey, use Tap -a Talk on your phone because it's so much easier. He's a lose cause. a lose cause? Really don't know. Yeah. Oh my gosh, but I don't, Anyways, there um, are no strings on me. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to go horde now, aren't you? Yeah, that, that kind of talk's going to send me back to the horde, can it? <laughs> what? I, what? It's a lot cheaper than bringing my horde tunes over, over to the Alliance. Um, but you can. But as yeah, far as like, bringing people on TeamSpeak and on the forums, I think a great way would be Maybe do more events where you're getting rewards or like randomized rewards. I don't know what would be the best way to do that. I've actually thought of doing like a scavenger hunt on the forums. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we've done the scavenger hunt or yeah. just like a random <laughs> thing. Across the organization instead of just, you know, yeah. maybe, I don't know. Some or like a raft, I think ESO does an extra raft thing. We are me. And you have to be we a one and stuff. We, so like, we run a raffle, you yeah. buy tickets throughout the week. Yeah. And there's three top prizes and every Sunday at about yeah. 6 30 or so central on TeamSpeak they call off for the thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then every other week we do an auction. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, Craig yeah. Craig here, we gotta stop talking about. Like in Found Fans, so we did uh, uh, hide and seek where the officers and like I helped hide before and we had sure. real life t shirts that we had for people and stuff like that. Um, I wish I had it, but I had to wear this with it. I was going to wear it, but oh well. Uh, so, sorry. Uh, yeah, I think it would be neat if we did maybe like a raffle with rare mounts or rare pets or whatever it is in other games that people want to collect. And like if you're in Team Speak, you, for whatever long or however, you, you get, a, get a reward or something. Yeah. But it's always a hard thing to try to promote. I mean, I guess. Other than that, the only reason I got on all the time was he had it yelling at me the whole time. I'm like, this guy's going to shut up if I finally get in, but <laughs> it's hard. It's hard getting people on teams being with cat as in that. Hey, you made promises before I came down here. <laughs> you will be held to them. <laughs> yeah, sure. You'll find well, out later. <laughs> I don't know if I have many ideas about getting people in TeamSpeak, oh, except you don't give us do access to the friendly guild with them. You know, I don't know. I'm 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 always asking people to come in TeamSpeak. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it depends on the person. But uh, the forums, I think, uh, I never could figure out the forums until I figured out how to subscribe to the ones. Real quick, I want to show everybody the spread. All right. So yeah, five seconds. I think teach people how to subscribe to yeah. the to the to the forums so that they'll either get an email or they did use the tap a talk. It makes it so much easier. Yeah. There's no real easy easy answer to team speak. People are who they are. Some people don't want to talk. I mean, there's. You, you can do things that you try to get everybody on for things like guild meetings and stuff like that. But some people just, I, I know many people that like to play music while they play. 
so they don't go on TeamSpeak because they just want to listen to music. Uh, that's not an easy one. I think the forums, to me, and I'm not you know, Mr. Techie, but they seem cumbersome. They're, they can be difficult to navigate. When you asked for the question, it took me 45 minutes to try to find a thread on there for the question. So, I, you know, it's kind of cumbersome to use. Yeah. Tough, tough to find something. Great. Well, thank you, everybody. We're very glad you guys could make it this year. You're helping make this great. Continue to grow. And uh, thank you for taking the time. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us today. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.